In this video we continue our Google Chrome Intune package in the wizard. In previous video we added app information and the program and in the previous video we did the requirements. Now in the next one we're gonna do detection rules. Let's go next there. If you have any experience with configuration manager and you have done applications there, not packages, but application, you probably already know about detection rules. So detection rules is very important. After and actually also before, it looks if uh, for certain criteria. If those match, it means the success that this have been installed successfully. So it's possible that you push that you deploy deploy Google Chrome successfully, but it still say it did not got installed. And you might be thinking, hey, but I see it's installed on my system. But that's because the detection rule is looking for something that didn't happen. For example, maybe detection rule looks for a file exist and that specific file didn't exist after the installation. So let's look into detection rule. Very important and a common error a lot of people can do. So if we look at the rule formats, you have two different in manu manual configure detection rules. And in there you have three different. You have to check for MSI, file and registry. <clears throat> and you can also use a custom detection script that works a bit like requirements that we did previously, but it also works a bit different on the result. We're going to go through all of the options. So let's start with the manual configuration detection rules. And in there you can click on add. And here we have three different options. MSI only works if it's an MSI installer. And so this won't work on our Firefox um, package. But in this case, this package is Google Chrome. It was an MSI file, so it definitely works. And due to us, when we created the Intune Win file in the script, if you remember, we selected the MSI file. And due to that, I said we would get some extra data. And that's exactly what we're going to see here. If I click on MSI, the MSI product code is already pre-filled. If we didn't select the MSI file when we created the Intune Win file, this would have been empty. And we could have added that in, so no problem. But you get this for free. So most software have a unique uh, MSI product code for each package. So you should be fine here. But if two versions have the same product code and you want to difference them and you want, then you can click yes here and also check the MSI product version check. And you can check that it's equal to, and which value should you put here? Well, let's look at our MSI file. So we have that under C, Intune, Google Chrome and in the source. And this is not natively in Windows. You have to install it. But if you have installed Orca or a similar tool, you have edit with Orca. And in here, if we go to um, property, we'll find the product code is here and we also find the product version. So here is the product version, which is not matching the actual uh, version that we're installing, the display name, which is 92. But this is the one we have to look for. So we look for that and paste it here. If it's equal that, the MSI product code is equal this and the product version check is this. Normally you don't have to do that, so I will actually say no. But if you actually need to difference, again, if the product code is the same for two different MSI, one, one for another version and none for another, you can difference them with the product version check. But I'm not going to do that on this one. So we click OK. You can also add a file check. So file check, you want to check a path. How do you want to be sure that um, Chrome have been installed successfully? Well, we can open uh, a file explorer, Windows E, and then browse to the executable of Chrome. If that one exists, it's probably installed, right? Program files, Google, Chrome, application so chrome.exe so if we take the path here and copy and then paste the path and then we want to see the file so if we right click i will do well it's chrome.exe we can type that it's very unforgiving for typos so be sure you type it right and then detection method for this file we can say that it um, just exists so it's in 
if you just check if the folder file exists, we won't be able to differentiate differentiate when we update this version. So for example, later we will speak about supersedence. If we have this, supersedence won't work. So it's always better to check for the version. So we can check for the version of the chrome.exe and we can say that it's equal. Well, equal to what? Well, let's take a look. What is the version? So if we right click here and take properties, so the version and then go details, we can tell that the version is 92.0.4515131. Uh, so exactly the same as we have in the source here. So I'm actually going to steal that from here. So I'll take uh, F2, I do a fake rename and you just take this version number. So that is the version number. So we say that it's equal to that. And again, as associate with the 32-bit app on the 64-bit client. I am only 64-bit client, but this is not the 32-bit app. We can tell that by the path here. If it was installed here instead, x86, then yes, we would check this box here. But no, this is a 64-bit app installing on the 64-bit OS. So this detection method works as well. And then the last one of the manual would be the registry. And the registry path here would be, I already have registry open, I see here. Let's see, we go to our favorite, GBN. No, not GBN. We go to our favorite, machine uninstall. And then we do control F and we look for Chrome. So we want to look for something unique that only exists if it's installed on the system. And that's very good. Uh, place to look for is the uninstall string. So we take this control A, which didn't work, control C, and we go back to the wizard. So the path is going to be here, HK local machine, software, Microsoft, uh, Windows, current version uninstall, and this uh, MSI unique um, GUID. And then the value, let's see what we can pick here. Take something that it's unique for this one. I would say display version. So we take the value of display version, control C and paste here and then detection method. We can say yes, the value exists, but that's also a bit vague because regardless which version of Google Chrome we have installed, this value will uh, value name will exist, but we don't know if it's actually the version that we pushed. So probably better to take um, version comparison or string comparison and put equal and here we will paste the string here, copy here and paste here. And again here, if associated with the 32-bit app, that would be if here it would be Windows on Windows 6432 node. So it would be 32-bit um, software and it's not. So we don't check this one. So here we have another check. So these are the three manual check. If you want to do a script check, very much alike like the requirement, we check here, use a custom script. And then we need a script. Let's create this script. And I will again be using the PowerShell ISE. And I say it in close it from previous video. So let's uh, create this detection script. We want to check if chrome.exe have the right version and exist. If it does exist and have the right version, then it's detected. If not, it's not detected. So let's first check for the path of the file. And that's under C program files, Google Chrome application. Let's verify if this file even exists. And then Chrome dot exe and we need to do it in uh, double quotation because there is a space there so test if this exists so we can do an if statement if test path if this file exists that's the first test then we want to do something if the file exists then we want to look at this file and see the version so we can use something called get item and then we want to get which item we're going to get the file chrome.exe but we actually want to get 
file version here. Oh, I want to double quotation here. Get file. No version. Info. Then dot version info. Get and then we want file file version. And then we want to do a if statement to see if that file version of chrome.exe is the version that we want. So let's do an if and then do a full statement if this is equal. We want the version to be equal and do we have that um, to be equal the same version of this file? 92. I think I have that in uh, clipart somewhere. Yeah, clipboard. So if this is true, if this file version is equal 92, then do what's in these curly brackets. And we just want to do a write output. And I'm going to explain why in a second. So let's say Google Chrome version and then paste the version is installed. So let's run this first and see if we get this output. So this output will only happen if chrome.exe first exists, we test that it exists, and then get the version, the file version. It has to be equal this version. Let's see if it works. It works, it's installed. As a test, we can put another version here, or just a two at the end to see that it won't work. And it doesn't work. Okay, perfect. So we have it working. So let's save this script. And in a second, I will explain how this will work out. So let's save this first. And we can save it as uh, detection Google Chrome version and yeah let's put the full version dot ps1 so we save this one i'm gonna copy that to our uh, template folder as well because i think that's a good thing to have when we copy it for future packages so we have a detection script i'm gonna do control c i'll go up to intune i go into our template that we created a long time ago and paste it here and it's not gonna be working for all software of course and I see I misspelled uh, Google here, or I added one L too much. But we can use this for future packages and just modify it, or not use it at all. It's not in the source. So I'm going to rename it correctly here as well, detection. I will do F2. And now I'm going back to explain. So when you run a detection script in Intune, it wants two things. It wants that the, the script executes successfully. That's one of the criteria. But the second one, very important, is that it also do an output. So if we didn't put this right output, it will not be a success. So if the script executes successfully, but doesn't do any output, then it's still not considered as detected. So those are two important things to have in mind. So the video starts to be a bit long. Let's upload our script here in the detection rule. And we have our detection rule here. And to run this 32-bit process on a 64-bit client, no, it's a 64-bit as we have spoken about. And yes, I have not signed this script, so please don't put yes here. So this um, concludes this section about detection rule. You can check for MSI code, for a file exist, for a registry, or if none of those three uh, apply for you, you can do a custom script that can do whatever you want to check. Okay, great. Thank you very much for following along so long. Great job. Thank you very much.